Tokoyami Toa is a member of Hololive's fourth generation, and she debuted on the 3rd of January 2020. She would go on to garner early success as Hololive was growing rapidly at the time. However, she became a part of a strange controversy that could have potentially derailed her whole career. On March the 4th, 2020, Toa-sama was streaming Apex Legends when she went to AFK for a quick break. She unfortunately forgot to mute her microphone, and a male voice was heard on her livestream. This might not seem like anything major for fans to get up in arms about, and you'd be right. However, due to Hololive being promoted as an idol group, many Japanese fans put onto them the same expectations they would have of any other Japanese idol group, and JP idol fans are some of the most devoted and parasocial in all of entertainment. The idols must be seen as available to their fans at all times, and any sort of relationship between a female and male is seen as unacceptable. This toxic mentality spread amongst a loud minority of Japanese fans at the time. They did not like that a man could be heard on her stream, and they thought it made her unpure. They attacked and harassed her over this. To be clear, most Japanese fans were chill about the whole situation, but it only takes a small minority to cause a big problem for a corporate VTuber. CoverCorp even put out a statement regarding the situation, saying, We sincerely apologise for the inconvenience and concern caused by our talent, Tokoyami Toa. In the future, we will strengthen our management system and strive to prevent a reoccurrence. All of our employees and talents will do their best to regain the trust of our fans, so we ask for your continued support. This essentially legitimised the concerns of the most devoted and crazed idol fans, and didn't come across as protective of their talent, Toa, who was the one facing all of the undue backlash and harassment. Toa then did an apology stream the next day, however the apology stream slash video and the original male voice stream have both been privated, and it seems that Cover did a good job in scrubbing the internet of clips. She was then forced to take a one week break from streaming because of the incident. I want to be clear that this video isn't to bring up old drama, instead it is to show how much resilience and perseverance Toa had throughout the whole situation, and how overseas fans stuck by Toa during her darkest hour. Overseas fans, who aren't as caught up in the Japanese idol culture, were incredibly upset by Toa's treatment for such a minor mistake, if you can even call it a mistake. This situation made Toa even more popular with the non-Japanese fanbase. She began to receive a lot of live comments and super chats in English, even though she wasn't fluent. This was before Hololive English had debuted, so the English fans were limited in number at the time, but they managed to outnumber Japanese commenters on Toa's streams by a good margin. Every English comment was supportive, and the general sentiment of most comments was, this was not your fault. People understood that even though she is a VTuber, it's just her job at the end of the day. She has a life outside of streaming, and the audience isn't owed anything. And also, just hearing a voice isn't proof of anything happening behind the scenes. The English-speaking audience showed so much support for Toa that when she came back on the 12th of March, she put out a statement in English thanking them for their support. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate the many messages saying that it was not my fault, but I believe my own carelessness and indiscretion was to blame. Not only was I overjoyed to read everyone's words of support, I was motivated to keep improving and growing as a person. Thank you all so much for your kind words. Your words reached me from countries all over the world. I can't thank you enough. I can't speak English yet, but I want to learn. Bit by bit until I can eventually communicate with everyone. I'll be doing my best to create fun content, so I hope you'll stick with me. Thank you for all of your tweets as well. The support from the Kai Kai Nikki brought her through this controversy, with an even stronger and better fanbase than before, and to this day she's one of the most beloved Hololive members amongst the overseas fans, and because of her hard work and perseverance, she has managed to leave this controversy in the past. 